electric eels! Stop! Yeah! Ooh, electric! Guys, easy! You didn't have to zap us! Bro, can you believe it? <laughs> I am so charged up! In more ways than one, we actually found some electric eels! That is awesome! Oh, whoa! These eels pack a powerful shock. And I don't even think they gave us all they've got. Was it you? Hmm. Well, I think I'll call you Voltage. Get it? Volts? Like how much energy a battery holds. Bart, he's an electric eel, not a battery. Hmm. How does your e-electricity work anyway? Investigating creature mystery. Set it to sense electrical charges. Those three special body parts are all making electrical charges. Chris, check it out. He's doing something. Straightening out real long in the water. And look, that body part is activated. It's sending out an electrical charge. Just a low voltage one, not a high voltage shocking one. Voltage, what are you up to? Something is in the electrical field. Something's coming close, over there. The other two body parts. They're activating now. They must be... Uh oh! Martin, look out! Whoa! Whoa, that's shocking. It's electric. <laughs> we just saw the electric eel shock power in action. The shock was too much for the piranha. It paralyzed him. He couldn't move. And that's how the eel catches his prey. Amazing! Now I know why electric eels don't have teeth. They don't need them. They catch prey with shocking power. So they use a little electrical charge to sense things around them, like incoming prey. Exactly. And that comes from this body part. And they use a strong electrical pulse to give a powerful shock. And that comes from these two body parts. Amazing! A creature who was using battery-powered electricity way before humans even figured it out. Hey, batteries, power, voltage, that's it! 